Hello everyone, this is Chandra Shekhar welcoming you all to the most important and most beneficial series for civil and mechanical engineers that is the daily dose. In this series, we bring the most important concept or sometimes the question for all the students benefit. So today's topic for discussion is very interesting which we generally use in cricket that is how a cricket ball swings. Have you ever wondered how the swing of a ball happens? So, but before I discuss about this concept, let me quickly introduce myself. Those who are watching me for the very first time, my name is Chandrasekhar, mechanical engineering graduate from IIT Delhi, having more than 10 years of teaching experience in GATE, IES and PSU. So that the swing of a ball is basically related to the tempering of the ball. One side of the ball is intentionally made rough by unethical means and the another side of the ball is made smooth or shiny. So when there is a difference in the roughness on both sides, so when the, the ball is thrown, the air is flowing over the surface and the surface which is rough, when the air flows over the rough surface, the boundary becomes turbulent. On the rough surface, the boundary becomes turbulent and in case of turbulent boundary layer, the separation of the flow comes late because the turbulent velocity profile have less distortion in its uh, profile or in its velocity curve compared to the laminar. So the separation of the flow comes late and the fluid will remain, the air will remain attached for the longer duration. But on the other hand, on the side which is smooth or shiny, that boundary layer becomes laminar. You can see over there, the boundary becomes laminar and in case of laminar boundary layer, the separation of the flow comes early. So the air which was earlier moving like this, it will separate early like this here and it will separate late like this. So the air will be moving towards right hand side. There is a motion of air towards right hand side due to different point of separation. And when the air is moving towards right hand side, the ball Newton's third law says there is a force on the ball which is opposite to the force on the air and the ball will swing towards left hand side. That is how it works. This is more clear picture. So the seam also, the seam of the ball also helps in making the surface to be rough. So that the ball is always swings towards the rough surface. That is called as swing of the ball and one more interesting concept you are familiar with that that is reverse swing which was actually introduced by Pakistan ballers after 15 to 20 over when both the surfaces of the ball becomes rough so one is little lesser rough the other side is more rough when the air flows over the rough surface it will remain attached for the longer period compared to the very rough surface. So in that case, what happens? The separation of the flow comes early in case of very rough side rather than the rough, rough side. So the direction of the air will be actually like this. So the air will be moving towards left hand side and that will push the ball to be moving towards right hand side. That is the reverse swing. So actually the ball is moving towards the rougher side that is known as reversing. The swing, uh, the, the, uh, the seam is towards the left hand side but the ball is moving towards the right hand side that was introduced by Soy Bakhtar uh, very long back. So that is all about this. As I was mentioning that the ball tempering is illegal. You must be aware about the scandal in 2018. The Australian ballers were banned for 12 months for ball tempering. So that is all about 
my today's topic for discussion see you in the next session thank you guys thank you very much jai hind